We've now got some great stuff from Golden Days Footy, and what do we get asked most for? Oh, the VFA stuff, Benny, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's a, it used to be a, an institution in Melbourne, didn't it? And uh, no wonder everybody's got great thoughts and memories of those days. Come on, Dags, show us one of them. Let's go back to one of the classic VFA games. Coming to the attacking side of the ground. I said earlier, this is where they must come. But oh, stretching over the top is uh, John Burke. Burke runs in now and he's kicked a magnificent goal, John Burke. Preston go to two goals, two. Sandy, two goals, three. Sims standing the mark. Third kick to Adrian Markin. Goes in uh, short. And Salvador takes the mark. I beg your pardon, it's Brian there. They both look alike there. As they're going towards Russell. Over the top was Berg Bergman. Burke playing particularly well, gets the ball nicely down in the direction of Hackney, and it's another goal to Preston. Ray Shaw is playing a good captain and coach's game out there. It's his fifth kick coming in uh, with the right foot kick out towards the uh, wing position. David Bryan comes in to take the mark. Bryan now towards the half forward line. They rise high for it. No one able to take the mark. Racing in this time is Beer. Beer snap shoots in the direction of goal. Good shepherding down here, and he's put it through for four points. His second. He's kicked two goals, Hackney, but gee, they're lacking uh, discipline and lacking confidence. Oh, there's a suicidal short pass, punched away by Barnett. But it comes back towards Hackney again. He can line it up, and he's kicked his third. Oh, how good a Preston at the moment. They've moved on to 15 goals, 10. That'll be 100 points for Preston. And well done, Ray. It's a good lead at half time. The boys are really putting in. Yes, kid. Um, that wind's very perceptive. You know, it threw that way that time, but... Uh... You know, we're running the ball and we're playing very well. You feel it's blowing up a bit more. Rex was saying in the commentary it's blowing up a little bit more. Yeah, I think it's blowing towards uh, the social club and it's probably worth three or four goals, but, uh, you know, we're not worrying about that. The players said a quarter time they didn't want to worry about the win. All they want to do is get out there and play our style of football. As they're hand-passing very, very well. This modern term of transferring play, well, if uh, that's what they call it, they're doing it to perfection. They're almost hand-passing backwards. They're using the short kick to break up play. Preston are playing particularly well. They're a good side, Preston, and uh, we've got uh, half a game of football in which to uh, salvage some prestige and some pride for the club. Dunbar in the direction of Frost is good play, and Frost can have his second bounce if he, bounce if he wants to. He puts it in towards Burke. Burke can't take the mark. Over the shoulder was the call from the centre hand hand people. Mark Long's running around. He gives it back to Burke. Burke lines it up, and he kicks it. And Preston have kicked 11 goals to one in this last quarter. Well, I think Bob Ketty said that he'd just like his boys to play out the game, but I think they'll be playing out the game behind closed doors after this shocking display.